Here today we have a patient that is practicing the breathing exercises as we speak. She's had headaches for over six months. Uh, they've been uh, at the back of the head and going to the top of her head. When we looked at the x-rays we saw, found some uh, interesting findings. There was degenerative disc disease at C5 and 6 which is the most common area for this type of disc uh, disease or disintegration degenerative pro process. Uh, but if we look at the top of the atlas here, we see both sides of it a little bit indicating some tilt of that atlas, which can also cause headaches. We're going to look at the open mouth view over here in a minute. But if we look at this neck curvature, we see this typical um, post-injury or post-chronic uh, stress uh, configuration where the neck is reversed its normal curve. It should be a 34 to 43 degree curve forward. And this one is backward, causing the weight of the head, which is, uh, you know, a good uh, 8 to 10 pounds. I guess kilograms and maybe 15 pounds, which causes the weight of the head being held forward to come down and compress this disc over a period of time. The disc disintegrates due to that compression. We have to try and bring this head back over time and try to help correct that to take stress off this area. But in the meantime, today we're going to be doing a procedure for this lady who has contraction of the uh, muscles in the neck in this area here and the suboccipital muscles that uh, has been there for a long long time so the muscles have actually become uh, hardened somewhat and fibrotic if we look at the uh, front view here you can see the significant angle of the uh, occiput and jaw is not at all straight it's on quite an angle downward and the and the and the uh, spine leans off to the right this is the right and that's the left there of this x-ray so then if we look at this uh, open mouth view uh, we're going to see a lot more space on one side than the other uh, indicating that there's a, a imbalance in the way that the top bone under the base of the brain is sitting that's important of course because that's where the blood vessels are that go up into the head so after we do the procedure on this atlas where we're going to literally move this bone over a little bit very specialized type of suboccipital spinal manipulation um, uh, that's going to increase the blood flow to the brain. It's going to decrease the pressure on the nerves. We're going to do this trigenics work on the muscles that attach these bones together. It's going to be a little bit painful. She's been taught how to breathe and move through it uh, using the trigenics procedure. So we'll be using some osteopathic mobilization and manipulation procedures as well as a little bit of chiropractic and then a lot of trigenics on this lady to alleviate her headaches. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, she's going to we're doing this muscle in here right now. Part of what we have to do here is actually teach the patient. Teach the patient how to participate and how to move. This is hurting her right now. Good lungs. Good lungs. Breathing. Incanino Volume. Spera. Spera. What I'm doing here now is uh, I'm doing a, it's called a trigenics uh, TS procedure for the leg of the scapula muscle, which attaches the scapula, the uh, bone here in the back, um, to the neck. Mm -hmm. Good. Cool. So now we're just doing a small, small little manipulation in there to loosen that side up for her. This side won't really move too much. I'll just make sure there's nothing down below that needs it. No, that's fine. Now we're going to do the atlas manipulation, the bone in the base of the brain. There it goes. Boy, oh boy. You felt it, eh? Mm -hmm. I had to be very careful with her. In her case, I wanted to kind of test the waters to see. We did a sort of a trial, a little 
a little uh, manipulation there to see what, how she would respond, and then I just knew what I could do, how far I could go with it, and, and then I was able to actually move it uh, without hurting her. That's the key. The key is doing something like this without causing any damage. <clears throat> get in and get out and get it to move, and you can give, get remarkable, uh, miraculous results for patients with headaches and whatnot, but you have to be pretty much an expert at it to do it safely. And, See, on teistmoodi. How much better does it? How much better does it? Kui palju see parem paremini sa tunned ennast? No, ma tunnen, et ma saan kahe laa liigutada taha. Kerge on. Pinge. Pinge on väikse. Ma tunnen. What about seeing? Ah, nägemine. Jah, silmad on nagu suuremaks läinud. More open. No, ei tea. More open. You can see better. Yeah. That's typically what happens because of the blood flow to the brain. Uh, is increased the blood perfusion, which was proven by uh, uh, a uh, medical doctor, a uh, PhD researcher in Moscow. In fact, I was in his uh, actual office looking at the research studies on the effect of this type of manipulation, and it showed the actual brain, brains before and after with the spectrumography showing the increase in blood flow, and that's what she's experiencing with the eyes being able to see better, the warm flowing feeling, and the lighter feeling the brain actually is receiving more blood and there's less pressure on the nerves going up into her head. So right now, uh, you don't really have the headaches gone, yes? Peavalo ei ole praegu. Ei, ma ainult tunnen seda, no surul seda ja katsumise kohta. Feels this parts where you're pushed. Where you're pushed, but the headache, the way that you knew it before. Headache is gone, right? Yeah. Here we have another case of chronic headaches, severe headaches with uh, some degenerative changes in the neck and whatnot associated with that and uh, we've just done the trigenic special procedure with the osteopathic atlas uh, manipulation under the base of the brain to increase blood flow, take away pressure from the nerves and the outcome is very happy I think. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, this is Dr. O and the Dr. O Show. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching our Trigenics video today. Make sure that you subscribe to the Trigenics YouTube channel so that you're always sent information on the latest Trigenics techniques and methods as well as the latest Trigenics success stories. This is Dr. O and the Dr. O Show.